I don't believe women when they say they want equality. They don't want equality. They want privilege and they want access to things they privilege. like. <laughs> as much as women like to say that they want equality, I do not see them lining up to be roofers or lay concrete or work at sewage treatment plants. Welcome back to Masculine Academy channel where we are helping men to become their best version. Today, we've got a great video where Rachel Wilson actually destroys the different points of a feminist. Let's dive right into it. So why don't we just, why don't we just get rid of that? Why don't we just have all guys work, only women working? Well, wouldn't it fix the problem then that you're saying? Well, for one thing, we can't because <laughs> as much as women like to say that they want equality, I do not see them lining up to be roofers or lay concrete or work at sewage treatment plants That's, or uh, oil rigs. I don't see them climbing cell phone towers. I don't see them doing like- You think that's like a social, like the no, fact that you're not. even using those as an example. Could you like, do you want to do those things? I mean, I wouldn't mind doing of those things. I don't, I don't care. But, yeah, you would, you would care. And you, <laughs> wouldn't, physics, you wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, I you work wouldn't... at a video game company. That's generally a guy thing. Like what, what, is, what do you mean? You work on computers, right? Okay, what well, do you just like so who, so big who, thing? So when you get up in the morning and you turn on your lights to get ready for work, that electrical grid is maintained by men who go I don't out into care. the snowstorm. Well, you're, you should care. <laughs> well, because I mean, the men I are the ones who to do it, it was a problem. And maintain it. This whole modern world that made feminism possible was uh -huh. built and is maintained by men. When we have but hurricanes, we had no position in that. When we have hurricanes, snowstorms, mm. blizzards, the people who go out and get the power lines back up are not women. The people who uh, yeah. fix the roads that fall in and cave in because of, of terrible weather and flooding, not women. Rachel's got a point here. She's basically saying, hey, let's not ignore the fact that men and women are different. And she's right. Research backs this up. Physically demanding jobs, like construction or firefighting, often require more muscle and strength, which men typically have more due to biology, of course. So it's not about saying that women can't do these jobs, but recognizing that there are natural differences that might make certain jobs more appealing or suitable for men. And another important aspect that we have discovered in the past few years one of the major difference between men and women is that women are more interested in people and men are more interested in things. And this is why you will have much more teachers and nurses that are women where more scientists and computer engineers are men. Do you think it's you're biologically men. not able to do that or something? Like yes, I could do that. and I'll tell you why. Uh, I think, <laughs> aren't you into fitness? You're a fitness girl, right? I... Not really. Okay. Well, I was a power lifter for years. I still lift nice. weights. I'm very strong for a girl. However, my 250 pound deadlift is nothing next to a man my size. And I, am, no, I don't want to go out in a blizzard and try to put the power lines back up in 50 mile an hour winds and sub zero temperatures. Well, I mean, I think and neither you would... do any other women, but well, men th will do it. Men well, will do it. I, I mean, I think that you would agree if you needed to, like, for your, I don't know, if for some reason, you were the only person that you would do it, right? Like to right, help so, out other people. Like I don't see how this has anything to do with like your your gender or sex. Like I I, I, I don't see the relation. I understand that you think people are interchangeable widgets that just have Absolutely, varying parts, they are. right? Uh, they're they're actually not at all. It's not even mm. close. And only people who've never touched grass and lived life think that. So if you think that I, you can actually the time. Go out, are you really gonna come at me about that? I'm really going to come at you about that because it's completely delusional. I'm trying mm, to okay. shatter your, your false presuppositions that okay. you can do anything Go a man ahead. can do. You can't do anything a man can do. And furthermore, and more importantly, you don't want to. You well, don't maybe want, you can, but... <laughs> you don't want to get into sewers and repair sewer lines. You don't want to lay asphalt in 100 degree weather in Texas. You don't want to climb cell towers and possibly fall to your death. The most dangerous I love occupations... climbing cell towers the most dangerous occupations are still held by men, not women. So I don't believe women when they say they want equality. They don't want equality. They want privilege and they want access to things they privilege. like. Yes. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more similar content. 
Rachel is saying something very important here. She's saying that, sure, automation is great, but it's not a magic fix for every job. Take construction, for example. While technology can help, there are still tasks that need a human touch, especially when it comes to precision or problem solving. So let's face it. A lot of these jobs require physical strength and endurance and mental abilities, which many men are naturally inclined towards. So we can't just rely on robots to do everything. Access to things they like. Okay, there's a yes. lot there. So I don't understand. You, you said like, okay, so you brought up the fact that you could like, you deadlifted, but you can't deadlift the same amount as like a dude or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But like, you think that these guys are just going out there by themselves? Like, like, I, like you're working together with people. Like, I don't understand like the physical aspect of it being that important. Like you're okay. using machines. Like a lot of these people are, uh, are, are doing like construction. Like they're not just like, like literally like hammering in every single part of it. They're using tools to do it. I, I don't see why there's any reason why it like any, any gender or sex like couldn't do that. I feel like it's very silly to like limit the, like, what do you think if I touch like, um like, uh like farming equipment or something like, It'll just blow up or something. I I, I don't get what the well, what the okay. uh, difference fair is. Fair point. Fair point. Let's just say you can do everything that my two hundred pound engineer husband can do. Let's just say you can. Were you trying to brag? Why? <laughs> why? No, I'm just saying he's like a big engineer brained man, right? And cool. I'm not. Um, but let's just say you could. Why? Mm -hmm. Why in the last hundred years, when women have had the Ooh. choice to do anything they want? Why have they not chosen these things? Why don't they want to build society? Why don't they want to build well, infrastructure? I think society has been built with women involved, or it, we probably wouldn't have lasted. Let's be real here. That's very silly to say it that way. Well, but I what role were they playing? Social, there's a lot of social condition. Like you know, I mean, you know, you're from the '80s. I met. What toys did you get when you were when you were playing when you were a kid? Actually, I was a tomboy. I was like a hardcore tomboy and I grew up in a neighborhood with all boys. Okay, so no, but I you had, didn't answer my question. I like, had Tonka what? trucks, I had He-Man, sure. I had G.I. Joes, um, I had Well, maybe that's tools. why you're interested in deadlifting and stuff like that because it's a, a more yeah. typically masculine Yeah, and thing, I'm a so. firearms instructor and I love shooting guns. So, I have a bunch of Right, so maybe proclivity. that is why you have those interests is because you were raised in a more, I guess, masculine, we'll say, um, mm -hmm. social... Uh, situation so yeah the fact that you are into like more masculine stuff because you're raised with more mats like more guys around i'm kind of the same way like i like i'm a big video gamer i'm a sweaty nerd too like i like doing like guy stuff like um i like to go out and uh you know burn wood if we're burning cardboard uh, that's you know like kind of like my like job that i enjoy doing like whatever like it's like um why are you kind of denying the fact that like maybe that you enjoy it because it's something that you were socially kind of used to being right. more in a masculine role mm -hmm. so would that not track with the idea of um well well it would people if tending, I had... wait hold on sorry oh, people tending ahead. towards um one particular uh group of, or value of like physical work for example like what you're saying like which you, you seem like you've also trended towards, like, would that not seem like that is more of a socially conditioned aspect than um, just something that is inherent? Well, it would, you would have a point there had I grown up to be an engineer or anything like that, but I didn't. Rachel is bringing up a fascinating point here. She's saying, hey, maybe women are choosing certain careers because they generally like them, not just because society tells them to. And research actually supports this idea. Over the years, women have consistently gravitated towards certain fields like teaching or nursing. It's not just because of the stereotypes. There's something deeper going on. Maybe it's about personal preferences or innate interests that guide career choices. And this is highlighted in the research about the gender paradox, where we are seeing that the more egalitarian a society becomes, the wider the gap between the choice of men and women. I grew up to be a mom and- Well, you chose I'm, to do that though. 
I mean, right. you, you, you think that you right. couldn't have been an engineer? Exactly. And what I'm saying is all well, women choose predominantly female things. Like I said, well, if yeah, women you're socially wanted, conditioned too. No, if women, no, I, you just told me I wasn't socially conditioned for that. Well, I was socially conditioned to do more masculine things. And well, I, I think did. being a parent is, is not, you weren't socially, I wasn't trying to say that you weren't socially conditioned to be a parent. I think that that is something that both sides, you know, uh, our social condition to do just in general, but I was saying that you were. So, so why wouldn't I have grown up to be like a construction worker? Well, because or... you said that you chose to be a parent instead, so you you left college. Yeah. Like, what were like what were you going to college for? Uh, I actually didn't go, but I had oh, a full okay. ride. I had a full ride art scholarship for fine arts. Nice. I was a painter and drawer and stuff, and I played the oboe, and I was really good at that. So I was like a music art nerd. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I have both sides to me, but mm -hmm. I once I became a mom, it was like the maternal instinct kicked in and that was what I cared about most. And that happens to most women. That's why mm -hmm. we tend to leave the workforce more often for maternity leave and things like that. Um, there's bonding that happens with mothers and babies that isn't the same for dads. Dads are super important. They're totally vital, but it's different. When you nurse an infant for two years straight, I mean, that's there's bonding there that you can't describe to somebody who hasn't experienced it. And just, I'm just going back to the point that if women wanted to do these things, they would be doing these things by now. They've had a hundred well, years to get into this stuff. They're not though. Have you looked You're at really going to tell me there's no, no woman that works in construction. Okay. There are some women that work in so some they are. <laughs> aspects of construct. No, they, they, <laughs> Let, here, let me help you out. Okay. So we've had a hundred years, right? So the top 20 careers held by women in 1920 are almost exactly the same as the top 20 occupations held by women right now. The only thing cool. that changed actually was that in 1920, more of them were doing farm labor. And now they have basically swapped that out for HR work. The rest of the top 20 careers occupied by women are secretary, nurse, cook, teacher, daycare worker, uh, bookkeeper, receptionist, all the stereotype things that women would do a hundred years ago is exactly what they're choosing now. And they can do anything. Like you said, they can choose whatever they want. So why aren't they choosing to lay asphalt in the hot sun? Why aren't they choosing to go up and fix the power lines when they come down? Why aren't they choosing these things? Well, I don't know. Cause you're kind of the way you're describing them seem like they kind of suck. So maybe they're just well but you you're, tough, to you're a strong independent woman how come you're not sure. out there you know fixing the power lines when there's a storm? about it i guess maybe i i my job's being a piece of shit where it's making me go into the office now so maybe i'll consider that um i I'm am pretty sure that if you had to do that kind of work you would be like i'll be a stay-at-home mom please please let me be a stay-at-home well, mom there's a lot of arguments that on both ends a lot of people would be like like i mean that's like the argument that a lot of like uh men say like why can't i be a stay-at-home dad and it's like well you should be able to so it kind of seems like you're well, kind of being a little toxic to, about it about being saying that don't want to it's not look i know that you're well, yeah, trying to deny biology and say we're the same <laughs> we're deny the same. biology and we have proof that we're not the same yes so we are in, not literally the same you are correct in nordic countries where they've been the most egalitarian for the longest we're okay. talking Viking society. We're talking the the socialist utopia that all of the leftist Americans love, right? Uh, okay, Iceland, Sweden, true, Norway, okay. Finland. Yes, they love, love, love because it's so egalitarian. Mm -hmm. In those countries, we actually see a wider gap in what women choose to do for a career if they have a career What do you mean all. gap? So the more egalitarian the society is, the more women will choose traditionally feminine things which women are more people oriented right they go into psychology sociology Dude, i fucking hate people <laughs> well, well well okay um that's nice but i'm just saying that women okay so maybe you are are not a people person but i bet you like to you know drink your your wine you're not over there drinking beer and whiskey you know, you like, from you, time to you have time. a pink background. You have a pinky purpley background. It's very cute. You got lots of stuffed animals. Clearly you have a very strong feminine side to you. Well, it's because it reminds right? me. I mean, I like stuffed animals because I got a lot when I was a kid. So, I mean, that's, yeah. I also yeah, have a bow. I mean, How do you think I about mean, that? You're not, <laughs> you're not over here with Zen Shapiro with like the buzz cut. You know, you're not, you're, you're clearly present as a very feminine person. And maybe you, you have a call this a side. buzz cut. Rachel, okay. it's not a really. Cut. It's a very beautiful haircut. I love your hair. I'm. I wasn't thrown any. Much hair. better. Much better. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, just saying, I'm just saying like, okay, you and I might have some really masculine traits. You might be a gamer chick who likes to swear and talk shit and all that kind of stuff. I and I'm a girl that. who likes to work out in the gym with my bro friends and like bench press and stuff. Right. Cool. But we are still women and we still want to do women stuff. I still love glitter. Yeah. I still love babies. We like doggies and kitty cats. Rachel again is shining a light on a real issue here. She's saying that, look, pursuing higher education shouldn't bury women in debt or limit their options later on. And she's onto something. You know what? Studies show that women often end up with more student loan debt than men, which can hold them back financially. This debt burden can affect career choices and even delay important life milestones like buying a house or starting, or starting a family. It's a tough reality that needs attention. If you think about Biden getting rid of the student loans, this is clearly to appeal to a more liberal type of population because indeed women vote much more liberal than conservatives. We got to get back to the point, which is, has feminism been good for society? And by all the metrics I just stated, I don't think it is. Do you have any okay. metrics that prove it's good? Like, well, what, I mean, I think the ability, like, you know, we didn't get the right to have a credit card until like the 60s, my dude. Like, I Actually, don't see what having an inequality of like that. Like, if you're really going to say about the workforce being like significantly higher than that alone seems like a benefit to have more workers i mean the wages were depressed not because of feminism there's a lot more to that where it's an economic issue but let's say focus you're right we we're getting a little off track there um where i i don't see why that is a bad thing to have more people in like because we were specifically talking about this country i guess like 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 having more people like being present having more representation like diversity like is uh very That's obviously great. more <laughs> Our strength, yes, and our um, that goes for also corporations as well. Like I think having like um, a lot of different voices within a space is always going to be good to a you know to to that degree if we're gonna like uh, look at it like an economic type of thing. But I, I don't see why having more freedom would be a bad thing. Like this is fucking America, dude. Like I love the idea that. We have freedom here. We have freedom of choice. If we want to choose to do those things, like, you know, stay at home mom or like, like you, you were complaining about the fact that like you wanted to be a stay at home mom. Right. And like people are like shitting on you for that. Like feminism, like is the exact like opposite of like somebody wanting to shit on you for that. Like that it was your choice. That's what feminism is. It is your choice to be able to be a mom, like to, to stay at home with your kids. That is a supportive choice where you shouldn't have to be held to some sort of societal standard where you have to work or you, or you have to stay home or you have you have to do anything. The idea is that it's just the freedom to be able to make your own choices of what you want to do in your in in your own life. And I don't know why you would want to constrain yourself when it comes to being anti uh, feminist with the idea of like rigid gender roles and and not having the freedom of choice like you clearly did choose, you know, to to become a mom and I and I feel like it would be really shitty like if if somebody was like you have to work. Like you have to work like outside of like the uh, financial values. I'm so sorry. They are just really annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, with, with like, I'm so sorry. I forgot what I was saying exactly. But That's okay. Actually, actually is, if you don't just... mind, I want to address a couple oh, of, of course. things that you said. So the first one would be, is it a privilege for moms to work or is it like a detriment to them? Um. Well, I mean, I'm not a mom. So why don't you tell me? Well, you said you think it would be bad if somebody told me I had to work. But when yeah. I t when I tell most people I'm a stay at home mom, they say, well, not all of us are as lucky as you. Not everyone is as well, lucky as you. Most joking. moms work because do you think most moms work because they have to work financially? Yes. Right. So how did they get more freedom? Where's all the freedom of choice? If the moms have to work because it's an economic necessity, where's all the freedom of choice? Well, that's the irony of it, right? I mean, obviously, the entirety of like human existence, you have to, you have to work in one way or the other. I mean, like a lot of people like would even like be like, okay, I can make money by basically being a mom by like babysitting other people's kids. 
like that's like an economic issue that has nothing to do with feminism like i, I mean i i feel like i i'm a little worried because i feel like a lot of your argument is just completely based off of the fact that you think that um women just kind of ruin the economy basically which is funny as no, a concept I, here's, but, here's what my argument is okay all the things feminism promised women it did not deliver not only that but women well, are I mean, I read off a bunch of shit that it, it no, you don't, but that's not the case. So I can, I can prove that that's not the case. So do you know that 65, can I talk now? Okay. 65% of college debt is held by women. The average woman goes Equality. into her adult <laughs> life with $35,000 in debt on average. What, so what does her choice to choose motherhood look like after that? After we tell all women, they have to go to college because they have to have a career or else they ain't shit. And they get thirty-five thousand dollars in debt. The average payment is about the same as a car payment. Where is the choice left to them to choose motherhood? Well, I mean, they chose to go to school. It's not like they like you hit that age and you just get the debt. Like, so you, you think social? You think that social conditioning works to make girls feminine and make them like pink and like dresses? What? But you don't think social conditioning works to make women go to college. You don't think girls go to college because they're told from the time they're born that if they don't go to college, well, I they're think, basically a loser and they're never going to make it in life? Again, this seems like it's coming from a very personal thing, but it's, I think that everyone is told to do that. <laughs> I, I don't really see any differential between, like, a couple, <clears throat> like idea of what I believe feminism is is a complete, like, utter disappearance of the idea that we're different because I don't see why that's different for like I don't think women are being pressured more to go to college than men are I know right, women typically can, do go to college more babies? often but who who births the babies is that the end of your argument what do you mean the only people who can give birth are biological who, females who gives, how does this have anything to do with so uh, I'm telling you it? pay attention if you force <laughs> if you force all the biological females into uh -huh. a system where they're debt slaves because they went to well, college they're not forced into it but okay you socially condition them that this is what successful women do this is what boss bitches do this is what smart girls do this is what good girls do they go okay. to college and they earn a degree right do you think it's good to earn a degree i mean if you want to sure do you I, have I, a degree i do not you don't have a degree no. okay so you don't I have to college for a few yet. years but uh no i i uh, was lucky enough to have a uh, generally wealthy family so Okay, gotcha. So most women go to college, get into debt, and then sure. we expect them to suddenly stop working. Okay, and how is it different kids? than men? Like, I don't understand. Like, the men are whole supposed is that, to like, support you... the women. This is what I'm trying to explain. The men Why? are supposed to su because you can't have babies and have a career okay, at the same are... time. What's you? What's Didn't there's plenty of women that... have babies. You just in said ah 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 in your opening. <laughs> you said that you said women that motherhood is a full-time job, that parenting is a full-time job. Motherhood's a full-time job, right? Yeah, you can just stay home dad. I mean, as soon as the kid's out of you, like, who gives a shit? Like, who's staying home? It doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so then you're still stuck in a one-parent income trap, right? What do we have here? Rachel is making a bold statement. She's basically telling us that if we are serious about gender equality, we have to be consistent about it. It's hard to argue with that logic. If we want true equality, it means sharing the good and the not so good parts of life equally. So if men have to register for the draft, maybe it's time for women to do the same. It's about fairness and accountability, plain and simple. What? No, that's not at so all what we were saying. If the dad stays home and the mom works, you're still stuck on one income, and you said people oh, you mean can't like that? Make one income, yeah. I think it's very rare to be able to do that. Yes, I, right, I, so I agree with that. But that's thing to do with now. the vast majority okay, of households. So I... Both parents have to work now. Correct. Sure. Right, and I just explained why that happened. So, okay. if you could um, please tell me just just mm -hmm. one actual like not just it's my opinion that it's nice that i think women have more choices do you have any concrete anything i've sat here and rattled off a ton of stats do you have any concrete numbers anything concrete we can look at um doesn't even have to be numbers but something that well, shows we're women me, so we can't see concrete obviously well we have to know if feminism has been good for society that's what the debate is so well, i'm I mean, waiting would you for some proof, like, is what is a bad thing as I, as I said in my beginning, my whole statement of why I listed off those things, like I also listed off things. I can also make a list. Um, 
the right to vote. Okay. Good, bad, bad, good. What, what, do you, what are your opinion on that one? Uh, I don't think that the having the right to vote has made life better for women. What I think why, it has. What, you have what, more your representation. Why do you think that we why, fucking rebelled against England, dude? Like, what do you mean? What, why what metric? By what metric? Because you have a you... representation that you obviously like. Who do you choose to vote for? Why don't I just ask? Like, what are you not getting about this? Wh okay, the... who do you choose to vote for? Somebody that represents your values, correct? Okay, but what? <laughs> So, so being able to vote for people, legislation, people who will legislate for your values is always a positive. Do you, do you believe that the American government represents your values? What? Do you Stay think that our... What do you mean? I'm talking about like the idea of being able to vote. Right. And I'm asking you if that has actually happened. So you vote, yes, right? Yes, I'm from California, so bro. Do you believe <laughs> that the current government that's supposed to represent the, you The entirety you? of the government? Yeah. Do you do you feel represented? In your I think mean, there's elements and people that have been elected that I voted for in the government that do represent my ideals. Yes. Okay. There's a lot of people in this country. But like obviously we whole. have a lot of. Okay. Right? Who you, cares? You, Who cares? Why are you saying that? That's well, the, uh, the reason I'm saying that is because you don't like the current system. So if you think the current system is shit, you know, I'm just saying, like, it doesn't seem to be oh, working well, for you. <laughs> Okay. So how does you being able to vote make your life better? You can laugh, but that's not an argument. Because I'm fighting for the things that I do give a shit about, and I do have representatives that I, I feel like do represent my values. Like, I, I don't understand why having less of a say in something is a good thing. Like, that's well, kind of what you're arguing. Like, oh, because the, the thing that I'm no, arguing... That's not what the I'm thing arguing. that I'm arguing isn't exactly, like, the way I want it to be, but, like, I, so that means I shouldn't have a say in it. Like, that's exactly what you're saying. Well, I'll tell you what women in 1919 said. There were anti-suffrage. Anti yes, you should care because okay, you're here mom. to advocate for women and feminism. So you should care, yeah. right? I'm always told I should care about well, the brave apparently and independent women. You don't really care about your opinion because you're a woman. So here we are. Well, well here, I live in the current time. And so I have to come on here you and really? dispel all the nonsense. Yeah, I have, you have to, to You're also forced like to do that you. too. <laughs> yeah, I have to educate people like you who don't know what the hell you're what? talking about. So in 1919, okay, there gonna... was much, much Let's... higher uh, representation in anti-suffrage groups than suffrage groups. There were more women who were active members of anti-suffrage groups mm -hmm. than there were women who were in suffrage groups. And a okay. group in Kansas put out a pamphlet that's in my book where they said, mm -hmm. we don't want to do this because they could foresee they may have to be conscripted into the military. They could see I'm that it was going that. to... I, I know you are. And that we yeah. would have to, except you wouldn't, if you actually well, had to go I fight the draft should be a thing. I don't think the draft should be a thing at all. But, I mean, as long as it is, fuck it. Equality. Both of us need to get drafted. I don't well, see any then, problem with that. Then I think if you want equality, we should make it mandatory that 50% of oil drillers have to be women. 50% of asphalt layers have to... Because equality, if you're going to draft women, well, that's a into choice the military, to work there. It's not like you're required by the state. Like, I know you think I'm a communist, but I'm not. I don't, I don't think that okay, those should so be like you state think run. The state should like, mandate people die in wars, but you don't think. No, I literally just mandate... said the draft I don't think should be mandated at all. Like, I, I don't know if you just like have like your script of things you're supposed to say, but like, I'm literally saying I don't think that the draft should be a thing at all. But if it, if it is, women should right. have to be part of it too. Fuck it. Yeah, and I'm saying if that. that's what you think, then you mm -hmm. are being inconsistent if you don't I think seems women very should. Consistent. It's not if you don't agree that women shouldn't have to be equally represented in dangerous and yucky and gross. Fuck it, and sure, hard. whatever. Okay, so if Nina wants to go ahead and put her I money where her mouth is and go outside and start laying some asphalt and putting up some power lines. All right, and you, you know a guy. If you know a guy, if they're paying enough, I'll fucking do it. I hate my job right now, so I'm down. Yeah, you would you would cry. But, Are you just okay. gonna say that I'm gonna say that even though I'm literally agreeing to do it? Like, what is your point? My point is that you, would you haven't. Cry? Yes, I don't want to go put out power lines okay. in a blizzard. I don't want to lay concrete. 
I'm not made for well, that. And that is your choice. That's fine. I mean, they're not like, what do you think? There's like a genetic gene for like laying yes. concrete? Do yes, so there is. You, there's Men genetic... are, do you think there... there's no biological <laughs> genetic difference between males and females? Nina? About laying concrete? No, I don't think that. That's very silly for you to are say. You a, are you a gender abolitionist? Yes, I yes, said that. Are. Okay, right. Yes, so, I Yes, so I am. So you think, <laughs> I okay, said that beginning. keep laughing again. It is not funny. We're having fun. Uh, well, okay. Uh, no, you would oh. not be outlaying concrete. Your body physically couldn't take it. Have you ever seen what happens to a man who has to dig? Have you seen for 40 concrete years? laid? It's just machines, yes. dude. You're physically like picking up. Like, concrete's a liquid when you, when you uh, like. What? What do you mean? Like it's just a machine that's doing have it. You, and you ever just have been to, outside of a city? Thing. Okay, farm labor. How about farm labor? Do you think that that's all automated too? Oh, so now you have to like change it? Like no, I mean, I'm a lot of it. Is socialist, yes, socialist yes, yes think, it no. is automated. You urban socialist city people think oh, okay. everything's automated, uh -huh. and it's not. Uh, a lot I of even, I was farm work is raised, not automated. Born and raised in farm country where manual labor still reigns. And yes, cool. if you've ever watched a road being built, if you've ever watched. Yes. Uh, sewer tunnels being put in under a road it is not all automated some of it is but a lot of it is backbreaking what do you mean they're labor. literally doing it with their hands like what do you mean yes they're literally with shovels and tools moving the concrete in 90 oh, degree so we're using weather tools. And yeah yeah we're using tools yeah so so my husband works in mechanical engineering on giant machinery where he has to be dropped into like a 40 foot hole where there's no oxygen. He has to wear masks. It's super dangerous and scary cool. and shit like that. You're not going to do that. You would cry. Why? I said I would because do it. Because you have stuffed animals behind you and people <laughs> what, because I have stuffed animals? You're, you really think, does anyone in the audience <laughs> believe we're going to drop Nina into a hole and she's going to fix the problem, right? With whatever is going on? Uh, no. Well, I'm sure I'm going to know what I was put, saying. We could put Nina on a crab fishing boat where she's mm -hmm. got like sub-zero temperatures, raging I do love winds. Boats. And and have you ever watched any of those shows? Oh, yeah. The no, and they look like scary, but I love the ocean. So I'm down to that too. <laughs> okay. What? Well, I'm sure. I'm sure everybody <laughs> believes that Nina. And, like you need to copy paste into like saying like whatever about me because you don't like I don't know who I am. I'm just like, you're, you're just about, like, I'm just it's like a joke. Lying. You think I'm lying that I like what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're both talking at the same time, Nina. Go ahead and, and Rachel, please let her finish before you interject. Sure. Well, I just thought it was funny that you were laughing about that I like water. <laughs> like, you can go ahead. No, I'm saying there's a reason why you have a desk job and not a hard. Okay, well, my boyfriend job. has a desk job too, so. Yeah, sure. There are men who have frou frou desk jobs now because we live in a technological. And yeah, it's it's soft, soft hands. You know all that stuff. I'm not even trying to hate on everybody who has tech jobs or whatever. But it I'm kind of sounds like you are doing that. I'm saying that the people who build the infrastructure that keeps your fucking computer on are men, big, burly, tough men who are willing to break their bodies over the course of years and years, keeping the fucking lights on. Do you think that's not a thing? Do I think that there are not people who have jobs that are to make, like, power lines? Is that what your question is? Who do you or that think there are men, like, do yeah, they're probably building overwhelmingly, infrastructure uh, is, like, an easy thing? Or do you think there are still really dangerous hard labor jobs that are occupied almost exclusively by men okay so why don't we fix that then fuck it o only women in infrastructure jobs and do you think that the power grid would stay up yeah because it's not like they're not doing the same job it's just maybe they're not as strong so i don't know what so do you, you think, what do you what do you average... think what do you think is the difference like what do you like what do you think I'll like what you. Like you you're constantly lifting stuff like like you're bench pressing things like to yes. make the the Yes. Oh, that's, Log, how you, that's how you logging, pour concrete is by logging, bench lifting. mining, being up in a bucket truck, having to lift. Yes, there are jobs. If you had ever, <laughs> if you had ever been outside of your little computer room there, you would know there are jobs where, mm -hmm. yes, the requirements are you have to be able to repeatedly lift 60, 80 pounds over your head all day long. You have to be able to do certain things, right? That women well, I, can't do. The average woman is five foot three, 155 pounds. Those women can't do like those jobs. It, yeah, we're fat these days. You know, that's how it is in America because we all sit at a desk all day. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, well, that's no. What I'm saying all women, all women in these jobs, maybe we'll lose weight, dude. I mean, you were you were a power lifter. I'm how, telling how are you, you going to say that you can't figure out how much would you lift? 
So my max bench press is 155 pounds for one rep. If you put me out okay. in out in a hard job where for 12 hours a day out in a field, I had to do that repeatedly, I would literally break. My body okay. couldn't do it. It's not okay, physically you think men's possible. bodies don't break yes. too? Do you, are you aware of the difference in bone density, bone structure, okay, muscle hormones? Okay, but the point is it doesn't, it doesn't are you matter. Not aware it's of still the bio their yes, body it too. It, it absolutely matters. That's not my point. I'm saying that like, I don't think it really matters in terms of like getting the work done as much. Why don't we just let's focus more automation and so you don't have to pick okay. up heavy shit. I think because not, at, uh, I know that people who live online terminally don't understand this. I know you keep this as an insult. I don't care. Not okay. everything can be automated. There are tons of things that will never be like automated. What? Like I told you, like you have up to things drop can a be person. Automated? You like, can't you roboticize a everything. My husband is a robotics engineer. Yes, he I know people love talking about your robots. husband. He has to fix the robots, right? Somebody has to be dropped down into a hole or mm -hmm. put way up in the sky or mm -hmm. in a dangerous situation that mm -hmm. women can't do. And if women wanted to, they'd be in those jobs and they're not. I think I've won this point. So I'm super comfortable okay. just That's like moving on from it. At the end of the day, feminism has done a lot of damage to society. And there are even men that have decided now to walk away from relationships. Let's watch this video where we are exploring why more and more men decide to walk away from relationships.